Hey, what's going on, good people? Uh, welcome back. So today, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make some turkey burgers. You ain't gotta have beef. You ain't gotta have no dang tofu. We're gonna use turkey, right down here. All right, so we're gonna start off. This recipe works for a pound to a pound and a half of turkey. Let me get this pound and a half up in here. This is a three pound tray. And let me go wrap this up so I can restore it. Pause. Oh. Alright, so to your pound, a pound and a half of ground turkey, you're gonna add three stalks of green onions. Green onions, more like green onions. Yeah. Alright, so right in there. You can use these little white parts of the green onions. This little green onions. Then we're gonna go in with two tablespoons of Worcestershire. Worcestershire what? Worcestershire. What's that? <laughs> I saw it, I don't know what it's made of, but it's good. And a lot of people have issues pronouncing the name. Alright, so from there, we're gonna go in with about a half a cup to a cup of uh, Italian seasoned bread crumbs. What you doing? These ingredients should be enough to get you about uh, six to eight good sized patties, or well, six good sized patties, eight if you stretch it. You wanna get all them crumbs. And then squeeze it through. That way you make sure you're getting a good mix of everything in there. Get that Worcestershire through there. You get the breadcrumbs through there. Get the green onions through there. That's all we're going to put in the meat. So now you got your meatball. Now you're going to portion out your patties. I ain't got no scale. I just get what I think look like a good ball. You're going to roll it into a ball. And then you're going to smash it. It's a little pack, and you press your thumb in the middle, that helps it from constricting so much. So you still keep your nice size patty. So lay that out. That's why I get sick, feel like I got little kids, so I'm gonna stretch out these last two. <laughs> seasonings with some salt and pepper you ain't got to be heavy-handed with it hit it with a salt and pepper you're gonna pat the meat that way it holds on to that season that season don't fall off when we do this step right here you're just gonna turn them over the same thing you're gonna hit both sides with this salt and pepper skillet over here warmed up with about two or three tablespoons of oil and I do uh, once it heats up do about three minutes on each side and it'll give you a good darn burger 
I'm going to try my grill out there my mama gave me for Christmas Day. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right, so here's the trying to smoke this grill on these burgers for the first time. Oh, I got a sear. Got the little sizzle for the sear. Sounding good so far. See how this goes. Oh, and right here is where I figured out I can deal with this new grill. So now for us who want the cheese, they're done. We're going to add some cheese in here. Going to put cheese on half of this one. Hope they stay on its own half. Put that down. And with cheese and some sauteed onions look like, let me show you this onion and mushroom sauce. Let that go. Hmm. You gonna enjoy it. Trust me on that one. Get our bun on there. And there you have it. Y'all enjoy that beauty. You wanna see it up close? Y'all enjoy that.